guys good morning to you all so into today's tutorial you are learning this guys so i'll be teaching you how i made this with my smartphone so you are learning this these simple tricks with my smartphone on pixel app so all i need you to do is this please please support me by subscribing subscribe like my video drop your comment and please turn on the notification sign so you don't miss videos like this thank you and without saying much i really don't want this video to be long I did already but from scratch let me show you how i did that so this is it you delete this so after you delete it click on this plus sign above here you click this plus sign above here click this plus sign above here then you are having this after this now next thing you need to do just select the photo you want to use so i'm using this photo to do this tutorial then you bring in your photo this is your photo now enlarge this photo to cover your designing area the surface of your of your pixel app designing area so this is cool after this you lock it up you see that after you've locked it up you click on this a below here click on this a below here do you see where the circle shape is click on it click on test now double click on this new test above here once you click on test this will pop up this we pop up where the arrow is pointing so once that stuff is there double click on it you have this new test now from here edit it just bring in light so i'll be using light now increase this your light when you increase you have something like this now go to your relative position this is your relative position align it to be at the center is at the center now cool then after that go to your font yeah so when you locate your font wait when you locate your font now you use monster extra bold you click on monster extra bold don't worry the link to this to everything will be available in my video description so this is the font now after you've selected this font remember you are making it to be at the center remember so now go back to your relative position so this is it at the center perfect then after that now go to background click on background enable your background now just make the black stuff to cover the whole thing you see that then after this click your good sign you are having this then after this click on this shape below here when you click on the shape now click on shapes you have this reduce this shape then make it go inside your text that particular text if it doesn't go inside you have to reduce it the more reduce it you're not making use of it just that you want to create a maxing effect with it now it has gone inside after that click here group the two together but before you group the two together i forgot to do something so you copy this text make it to just copy the text good you have this one then this one is here centralize it like you did before perfect now go back to your background good then you are having this cool then now look at what you will do go to your shape do the same thing reduce this shape make it small now drag it inside that text like you did before make sure the whole body of that shape is inside the text so this is what you are having perfect now click here group the two together this and this when you group it together it has become one now good then after that go to your erase color this is your erase color click on this erase color enable your erase color do you see the effect it has maxed out the color of that text so now the text is having the background color do you see that then after that click your good sign now go back to your 3d text effect no no good then after this don't worry about this so then after this now next thing you need to do is this this bring it to the front you see that then this one you lock it up 
so after you've locked it up now this one drag it down here hope you are seeing what i'm doing so at this point i'm begging you please kindly subscribe like and share my video i'm begging subscribe like and share this video then let's continue now click on your a go to 3d rotation so this 3d rotation are you seeing what i'm doing so as it stands now i want to turn it upside down cool bring this here but i think it should be the other way around exactly so this is how it will be so take this to the extreme end here zoom this bring it here so this is cool right then bend it more bend the text more just bend it more so locate your 3d perfect now cool this is what you're having then after this next thing you need to do is this now join the two texts together i'm not joining the background with it or just the two texts you join it together so after you've joined you have this now still go back to that tool called what eraser color eraser enable the color eraser now this is what you are having this is cool now you lock it up you are having this together then after this now let's bring in a vector image of a man standing so now here is the vector image you see that of a man standing you bring this vector image reduce this vector image place it here increase the two position take it up this is cool then after this now copy this vector image drag it down here hope you are seeing what i'm doing now this time around you need to reduce it now use your position to since the object has become too small for me to move it using my hands cool then after this go back to your 3d rotation again now you rotate this text you see that cool then after that this is okay now use your position to bring it down a little bit just push it down a little bit then after that to reduce the size i think is the size is much and it doesn't have to like leave there so this is cool now use your position to, to make it fit very well so can you see in just few minutes i've been able to teach you these sweet tricks on what you can actually do using what your pixel app so please subscribe turn on notification sign it is very very important thanks and i believe you learned something from this video bye bye